Hi everyone, thank you for coming on to this video. If you directly want to watch the interview, you can skip to the timestamp given below or you can see this intro before that. So basically this uh, company was asking this interview for a front-end developer role and the years of experience which was required here was ranging from zero to one years of experience. So you can consider it as a fresher role and the topics which uh, the company has grilled the candidate on was HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Yes, uh, no preference has been given to React much over here. And the other companies which have asked the similar type of questions were basically small, small startups. You can name it any small startups you can see. And the salary package which they were offering was of 6 LPA and out of which the base salary was 4.5 LPA and the other compensation was 1.5 LPA. Thank you. If you are struggling with your front-end development interviews or you are just a fresher who wants to know where you stand, so you can book a free mock interview one-on-one -on -one session with me. This will be an absolutely free one, not a single rupee you have to pay. So you can check out the description and book one for yourself. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, can you share your screen? Yeah, sure. Just let me know once you are able to. Yeah, okay. Mm. Visible? No. Okay, I'm already sharing it. Yeah, this time it's visible. Okay, okay, yeah. Just, I will give you two, uh, one array. Okay. Like uh, 10, 14, 20, okay. uh, 4 and 5. You can find a, a minimum, minimum number. That minimum value from that. That's you okay. have to find, uh, that means uh, we have to set like a value is a 10, 20, 40. Okay. You have to find Let a 10 in this. that. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. 10, 40, and 50. And I have yeah, to okay. find and out you... minimum, right? Yeah, and also you have to take a uh, in between 2, 4, and 9 in that array. I have to, okay, you mean to, uh, four and nine. Okay, and I have to find out which is the minimum and even, right? Yeah, okay. I'm taking I'm taking uh, a different compiler. Yeah, okay. Minimum. 
Yeah. Hello. What is the React? Yes. What is? What is the React JS? Okay. So React JS is a nothing but a JS library, uh, which is used yes. for like building user interfaces. So what is the hooks in React? Hooks are nothing but you can say see a simple JS functions you can say. So the uh, there are different like it allows us to have uh, features like states, lifecycle methods. So these kind of features is allow uh, hooks allows in functional component. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how many hooks you have? How many hooks? You have no which hooks have you used? Okay, uh, so you still use effect uh, normally most of the times and uh, use ref use memo and use. Yeah, okay. So what is use of uh, use effect? Use effect is used to perform side effects for uh, like uh take like what you can see is like it uh like for example like fetching data or like uh, uh take an example like uh what we can say uh so see this uh the mounting unmounting updating uh, with the uh help in uh with the help of use effect we do in functional components okay and what is use of the use state Use state is used for tracking the state in uh, functional components. Uh, so, like with the help of use state, we can like provide the default value. Then we, uh, with the help of set state function, we can like update the value uh, later on. So, in in short, uh, it is used for tracking the state. Yeah. Okay. And what are the features in React? Feature has virtual DOM. It allows us yes. to uh, have JSX. Then um, these are the two main, but uh, it also provides like uh, one way data binding, and yeah, it, these are the main features. Yeah. What is a JSX? JSX is nothing but a JavaScript XML. It allows developers to write. Helps developers to write HTML in React. With the help of that, uh, developers can write HTML in React application. Yeah. Uh, what is a component? Component is nothing but you can say it is kind of a uh, function. Like they are uh, can be reused. So that is a component. Yeah, that means uh, when we have to use one component, that component we have to use another uh, any any way we can use that component. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between uh, real DOM and virtual DOM? So, uh, virtual DOM it is a copy of the real DOM, and what uh, real DOM will do is like. Suppose uh, take a set line of code and a single line of code is changed anywhere between whatever the any any line of code is changed. So the while processing it will uh, the virtual DOM it will process only the chain line of code instead of processing each and every line of code. So yeah, that is the main difference. Yeah. Okay. Have you used uh, React Native? No, React Native, I haven't. Yeah, okay. No problem. Can you uh, explain uh, Redux Flow orally? Yeah, so Redux will be main components uh, like action, store, reducer. So action will tell, like, uh, it will tell what action needs to be performed. The 
reducer what it will check is it will check the initial state and the action and depending on the action it will update the state and store it will be like storing all the states and it will be uh, available to all the components globally yeah mm -hmm. yeah okay one minute huh? yeah Uh, what is the uh... yes what is yeah yeah uh, what is javascript this is for like it is used for creating uh, interactive web uh, contents like uh, applications so yeah for that purpose javascript is used mm -hmm. okay uh, then you explain a uh, map filter and find method Wrap, uh, map filter and find so uh, what yeah. yeah so map what it will do is like it will uh, suppose uh, for example there are set of elements in an array so what map method will do is like uh, it will uh, like add uh, if you want to multiply whatever uh, on each element we want to multiply by 2 or multiply by 5 or uh, suppose if you want to add each element uh, if you want to add each element by 5 so with the help of map we can do uh, then other thing you ask is yeah map filter ha huh, filter so filter for is yeah so take a set of elements uh, 1 2 20 30 and if we want uh, like uh, greater than 18 uh, so with the help of filter we can do and the other uh, other thing you ask is uh, find method find return the element first element that uh, satisfies the testing condition yeah okay uh, what is the difference between map and forage a map and for each is like uh, they perform same so uh, there is uh, like they perform on the same but uh, for each method it doesn't create new array based on the given array but in a map uh, like uh, it creates a new array yeah okay uh, in react uh, what is use of props props are used to pass the data from uh, one component to another component yeah uh, from one component to another component or from parent component to the child component from uh, yeah parent component to child component yeah okay What is the difference between uh, state and props? State and props are like state is used to hold value within the component, yes. whereas props is as I as I said before, like it is used to pass the data from parent component to child component. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in your project, how you use uh, class? The component or the functional component? Um, I am used to a functional component only. Yeah, okay. What are uh, what is the React route? React route is like uh, what? Okay, so a React router, what it will do is like uh, it helps us to route to different pages. Like for example, there is a web page and it it contains home about contactors so it helps us to move to different pages 
so that that yeah. is the work of react out yeah okay what is the html html is layout on a web pages that is the main purpose of html yeah okay uh, can you explain uh, html layout html layout uh, in the there will be like header navigation uh, tag or like main footer so yeah yeah okay uh, what are the tags in html what are the tags i have used html your tags. your voice is getting like yeah there is a network issue i think abhi aa rahega ki clear ha now it is a better yeah okay so what are the tags in html tags are nothing but like uh, it is used to determine element like it will determine what element will be having like for example take h1 h1 or h6 so h6 what it will do it will be having lower a, a, a lowest like uh, you can say size of the letters and uh, h1 will be having higher so it determines what the elements will be there on how the elements will be seen to the user yeah okay and uh, what is the difference between a strong tag and bold tag strong tag it determines like how uh, important that uh, element uh, like how important that content is and bold is used for yeah, okay. highlight highlighting the content yeah okay uh in your project have you used uh, inline css or external uh inline uh, and external both i have used yeah uh, what type of css yes what, what type, of, type of, CSS? of css yeah what are the type of css okay inline internal yeah. and external css yeah, yeah okay 